G'day everyone, it's Billy here from Dumble Young in the Great Southern Region of West Australia, the Upper Great Southern Region. Guys, I thought I'd do a video today about the beautiful Tagasasti tree. The Tagasasti tree. It's kind of hard to pronounce. But this is a beautiful tree what grows all around the southern parts of our rural West Australia, usually in the Great Southern, the Wheat Belt areas, maybe the Midwest of Western Australia. It's actually a species um, what originates from the Canary Islands, so it doesn't, it's not native to Australia, so it's native species of the Canary Islands. As you can see, guys, it's a beautiful looking tree, especially when it's in full flower. So right now it's basically nearly, if not already, in full flower and it's uh, around the uh, 6th or 7th of August today 2020 I wouldn't say it's in complete full flower but it's very very close so as you can see it's a beautiful weeping type tree um, I'm no expert guys I'm just un once again as I always usually say it's an unrehearsed video it's a beautiful tree it lives for around 40 to 60 years of age it's very, very common where I come from in West Australia because the farmers use it for uh, as a, a feeding product for their sheep. So you'll see many of these trees in uh, farmers' paddocks in some areas, especially in areas where I come from. The, tr uh, the sheep will eat the beautiful leaves and the seeds and the flowers. It's also perfect for a, a tree to go... Um, or a chicken pen is so right now I'm in the process of uh, building a chicken pen in this area where the uh, Takasasi tree is right now you can see this homemade chicken pen that I'm been working on for over a year I just haven't got around to completing it it's nearly there guys I just need to get some chickens and uh, you know do a few more things but anyway um, it's going to be a in regards to the chicken pen basically the chicken pen is going to be a big square basically with our chicken wire and that chicken pen there is going to be basically sitting right underneath the uh, Tegasasi tree. The reason it's perfect for a chicken uh, pen guys is a few reasons. Firstly the shade, it produces a beautiful shade especially in summer so the, the uh, chickens don't die of heat stroke and so forth. Um, what else? It's a, uh, once again unrehearsed guys, uh, perfect for chicken pens and also the seeds so this seeds so what this tree here guys we hundreds of thousands of seeds will fall off this tree in around November December or the way up to around March so soon these flowers are turning into beautiful long seed pods containing around probably 12 seeds per pod and in the hot weather the seeds crack open and all the seeds fall out it's beautiful guys because you can actually hear on really hot summer days you'll hear you know thousands and thousands of clicking noises so it's this from the sun's heat opening up all the seed pods and all the seeds fall to the ground and the chickens absolutely love the uh the seed the seeds also full of nitrogen it's really really good for the uh chickens or ducks or any type of uh you know bird you might have caged Qu quails um, you can see right now you hear birds already singing in the tree. They're um, feasting off all the nectar. Also, the tree is really good for, I think, uh, honey producing for the bees. So right now, there's thousands of bees. You can hear the bees, but there's thousands of bees getting all the beautiful pollen, and the, the, the nectar, and so forth off these flowers. It's a beautiful weeping tree, as you can see. Um, but we'll get underneath the tree, I'll show you guys. So, to, it's one of those trees, guys, where you really need to kind of shape yourself. As you can see here, I've pruned it. I didn't plan on making this tree into a beautiful weeping type tree. I mean, it is a weeping tree, but this is where I originally pruned it, probably, you know, when it first started um, growing, just to try and shapen it. As you can see I'm right underneath the tree right now, it's a beautiful sh shady tree. Um, so you need to shape it yourself guys. I mean, sometimes if you're lucky, it'll turn into a beautiful weeping tree, but but you really need to get in there and 
try and shape the tree as best as you can. As I said about the nitrogen guys, the tree roots, so there's a lot of tree roots underneath all this soil here and it spreads all around my yard. So the tree roots also put in a lot of nitrogen into the soil. And obviously when all the flowers do as well, when they fall to the ground, I'm currently raking right now, you can see all the all these leaves are from the uh, Takasasti tree. And soon, probably in the next month or so, be, this whole ground here will be covered in white flowers. And uh, yeah, so it'll be, a it'll be literally like snow. It's all of these leaves, all these white flowers will fall off just before they turn into sea pods. As you can see guys, I've already mentioned before, but it's a beautiful weeping tree. As a kid, I've got memories of playing in these trees. Um, maybe it could be good for a tree house, but you have to be careful guys, because the, the twigs can be quite sharp. So it's, especially the little twigs. See those little twigs there? You break those off. And uh, they're quite sharp, especially for kids' feet. So be careful of kids playing in these trees you know the twigs are like little nails basically whoops um like i say guys it puts a lot of nitrogen in the soil probably the worst thing about this tree you don't want to have it too close to your house guys it's not the reason being is because all these flowers and all the leaves going to fall off into your gutters in your roof your roof gutters and they'll block up your gutters. So you don't want this tree planted next to your house. Um, as I said, the roots. So these are my old summer vegetable gardens right here resting at the moment, guys. I've got potatoes growing right here. But basically what's gonna happen with these tree roots is all those roots are gonna sprout underneath this vegetable garden right here, underneath the uh, soil in the, these rainwater tank vegetable gardens these ones here so basically what's going to happen or what is happening is the tree roots from that takasasti tree are going to go underneath this rainwater tank and the other ones i just showed you my vegetable garden and probably hundreds of little tiny roots will shoot up into the soil it doesn't really matter but you just got to be careful of uh you know the roots getting out of control uh, there are big roots. I've actually got them covered at the moment. So there's big roots coming out from underneath that pile of soil. But eventually that pile of soil is going to be covered in all rocks for my chicken pen. So these rocks over here, guys. For my chickens and for frogs and so forth. So all of these rocks right here are going to be laid on top of all that soil. But like I say, fellas, it's a beautiful tree, especially when it's in, fla in flower, like now. Um, or the seeds when they crack open. <clears throat> Literally tens of thousands of seeds will fall onto the ground. Perfect for chickens to eat, and birds, ducks, and quails, and any other type of fowl you have. So this tree here, I didn't plant either, guys. It just sprouted probably from a bird dropping. So across the road from my house, there is quite a few of these tagasasti trees. It's also called a lucerne tree, or a sheep lucerne tree. So like I say, it's one of the reasons it's coming in where I come from is because farmers use it for the sheep for feed. The sheep will eat all the leaves and the flowers and the seeds. Um, it's also really, really quick growing too, guys. Really, really quick. So within a couple of, probably within probably three or four years, five years, it'll get as high as this tree right now. I think it grows to around four to six meters in height. Um, really, really easy, easy to grow, guys. I've got a couple of them growing around here. Here's one here. So this is a beautiful Takasasti tree right here growing right now, guys. I'll probably end up ripping that up. So easy to grow. I've got some more growing here. So these ones have just come up by themselves, guys. So these ones are Takasasti trees as well. Just from uh, the seeds falling into the pots and so forth. So 
So yeah, that's basically it guys. I can't send any seeds to people due to quarantine rules and so forth. But if you're in Western Australia, very, very easy to find. Uh, even on eBay, I'm sure you could get seeds, gum tree and so forth. Um, but as I say, fellas, it's just a beautiful ornamental type tree, weeping, not, not just for a chicken pen either, guys, for a beautiful, to sit up your coffee table and, you know, your little picnic area in your backyard for your friends when they come over for a co coffee and cake and some biscuits and so forth. So that's it, guys, a beautiful Takasasi tree. And this one's probably around 8 to 10 years of age. It lives for around 40 to 60 years of age. And uh, in here are the bees. So beautiful, beautiful bees. Look at the pollen. I just saw one covered in beautiful pollen. But that's what they look like, fellas. You can hear all the bees and the birds, all the... So, all right, guys, I really, really appreciate you watching. And like I say, fellas, it's beautiful for mulch. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm raking this underneath this tree and it's absolutely beautiful for mulch for my worm farms and for, for your vegetable garden, compost and everything else because uh, it literally drops, you know, probably, I don't know, two or three hundred kilos of uh, leaves and seeds and flowers. So this will stay in flower probably for the next... Um, probably a month or so, the next four weeks, and then like I say, those flowers all fall off and the seed pods all form and create beautiful seed pods. But there's plenty of videos on YouTube about the Takasasti tree, guys. So it's just a beautiful, like I say, ornamental tree, especially for chicken pens, to keep your chickens nice and cool during summer and all your other birds of fowls, chickens, ducks and quails and that kind of stuff. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. So check out on eBay, maybe Gumtree. And a very, very easy tree to grow. You cannot fail at growing this and very, very quick growing. You know, if it a few years, you'll get it to basically this height. All right, fellas, thanks, girls and guys. Thanks so much for watching and we'll chat soon. See ya.